To provide green energy for 400,000 households, a wind farm is being constructed at approximately 23 kilometers off the Belgium coast. Van Oord is responsible for the engineering, procurement, delivery and installation of the 44 wind turbines, as well as the offshore high voltage station and electrical cables to transport the energy ashore. The weight of the monopiles and turbines, the unstable seabed at these locations, and the laying of cables in a crowded area are some of the challenges facing Van Oort's crew and engineers. The Aeolus installs up to three monopiles per trip. Scott and his crew make sure this process is carried out safely. Yeah, the transition piece is a large yellow thing behind me. It uh, joins the monopile to the top sides. Uh, I've got a team of eight riggers, along with myself and the superintendent on board. Can you get that one on that sling? During pile driving and installation, the Aeola stands firmly on her four legs. But at some locations in the field, retrieving the legs from the weak soil is quite a challenge. We have here a sample of the leg of the Aeolus. We have put it inside the clay as we have offshore and standing there for one day. And when we want to retrieve the legs, we get the suction under the leg. Then the Aeolus will be stuck in the clay. But Van Oord has come up with a solution. We have several jet nozzles and then we spray the water underneath the feet. That's to reduce the vacuum so we can lift up the feet easier. The placing of the monopiles causes a lot of underwater noise. Van Oort, therefore, takes responsibility for the environment surrounding the project site by taking different measures. In order to assure that these uh, noises will not hinder uh, mammals like uh, porpoises, we uh, used the guards to actively deter these porpoises prior to the piling work starting. The fauna guard does so by transmitting harmless sounds. Van Oort is constantly looking for better ways to protect the environment. To deaden the noise, Van Oort has developed the ADBM screen that is being tested at the Northern Field. For future projects, we want to also mitigate the low frequencies, and that's what this system is designed for. So what you see here is the deployment mechanism. Tonight we'll put the, the monopile in first, then the hammer on top, and when we start the test, we will lower the system down from the frame all the way to the seafloor. To transport the energy to shore, cables need to be installed in the seabed. This is in an area requiring 35 new crossings of gas pipes and cables from neighboring wind farms. Using the Digit, a remote-controlled trench jetting and cutting system, Van Oort efficiently embeds 79 kilometers of cable to transport the energy securely. Van Oort installed all 44 turbines at the designated locations in record time, ahead of schedule. This contributed to Belgium meeting its target of generating 13% of its energy needs from renewable sources by 2030.